Hello YouTube, today we are doing a little bit of a fun job. This is a kitchen and we're gonna um, cut the worktop. So obviously we're gonna do two worktops here and we will join them over there in a nice round angle and it's a 90 degree joints over there. Right, so we have a worktop in here ready. Let me show you around. So to to do a precise cut, we need a template. So we're gonna do sort of this cut. We, we, one work will be here and the other one will join here. And then obviously this will be a nicely rounded cut like that. And then they will just tie it nicely and will look really nice and neat. Right, so the first work top is that one. We're gonna, doesn't matter which one you're gonna start with. I'm just starting with this one. Um, so this one we cut up, as it says on the template. Um, it needs to be, um, it needs to facing a laminate up. Um, and then when we're gonna cut the other worktop, we need to turn it around and it needs to facing down the laminate side, the nice one. Now to um, position the, uh, the template in the right location, we need to use those plugs to stop it moving. So we're gonna cut it in a 90 degree angle. So we have those three spots here, 90, 90, 90. So we're gonna place those plugs in this, in this location. Right, and now we're pushing it all the way. And now the worktop will not go anymore that direction. So now we need to move it. We can move it this way, but not that way anymore. Right, so once we have those three plugs, we can lock it that way. And now we need to um, know how far do we go. So to know where exactly to position um, the, the template, we need to measure how wide our workshop is, and then we're gonna just choose one of those options, it's 600, 616, 635, 650, or maybe even seven, or, it's, or smaller, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of options to choose. So we measure in our one, this is this one, and that's it. Now the template won't go anymore that way, and it won't go anymore that way. So we know the location, but before we actually start um, cutting, we need to make sure that this is gonna be really tight and it's not gonna move, not even one mil through the process of cutting. So we need some, um, we need some clamps basically. When you position the clamps, try to keep them as far away from a uh, from cutting um, route because the rotor that we're going to use is quite, um, quite wide, so we don't want them to be on, the, on our way. That's it, we're cutting indoor, so we're going to need a hoover, and obviously we're going to need a big rotor. Right, so the rotor spin clockwise, that way, the, the blade itself. So um, it's very important to start from the right direction, from the right way. We have to start from this way because, because it's turning that way, it's not gonna um, damage the laminate right at the beginning because it's gonna go in. It's not gonna pull it out, it's gonna push it in. So it will start nicely. If we start from this way and go the other way, we will have a disaster because as soon as we will just touch the surface of the worktop, it will just chip away. So um, that would be a disaster for us. Right, when we do the cut, we don't do just one full depth and cut it all the way in one go. 
No, um, let's do it in uh, three, four times to be safe. Because um, if we do it too much in one go, there's quite a big of a chance that we will damage the, the warp on the way. Obviously, we need a decent, um, decent blade. Um, and that's it, we can start now. Right. right, let's do a little bit of a cutting. So that's what it looks like. And when we do another cut, we want to be sure that the template is clean, it doesn't have any more dust. Let me show you the cut from close. That's it. Nice and neat edge. No chip offs. Just perfect. Right. So that's the that's the second workshop that we're gonna cut. And as the template shows, nice and easy. The second cut will be upside down. So nice surface facing down. And then we cut like that. So this is going to be the joining corner visible. So we do it that way and all the way down. Um, and before uh, we put the, um, the worktop on our stands, we need to secure it with some sort of either a cloth or as I do, uh, a foam, something soft that will prevent from damaging the surface of the worktop. All right. Right, so we're doing the, um, the other side cut. Um, for that we have, um, we have to turn not only the, um, the worktop, but also the, um, the template. And we have those two, um, those two holes. It says M90 on them for 90 degrees. So you fit our plugs into them. Now the, the, the tricky part is we need to make it perfect 90 degree angle. And because it's just two of them, it's quite easy to lose it just a little bit. So we need to make sure 
that those plugs are touching our worktop surface perfectly. Let me show you. Yeah, so they both need to really, really, so you see, this is a gap here. We can afford that gap. There you go, so now it's touching, and we need to make sure the other one is touching too. Otherwise, we will not have the perfect 90 degree angle. And one degree here, it means a little bit more at the very end of the workup, so we need to be sure that it's a really, really nice line up. That's it, okay, I'm happy with it. Right, time for a first cut. Right, the next cut that we need to do is to cut for the joining bolts. Now to position it right, um, we need to go to the workshop first. The, the joint will be here, that will be the joint. So obviously we want all those cuts in here, between this wall and this wall. So to, to be able to know where to start those cuts, we need to measure distance away from wall and here it more or less here. We want our first um, bolt in here and other three, uh, other, other two um, right next to it. So let's go and measure that. Right, so we've measured already the distance from the wall to the first bolt. That's where it needs to be. Now to position the right way the, the template, we just need to put our plugs into the those B signs and then all the way in. That's it. Now we just trim this out. Obviously not all the way so it won't uh, it won't go I don't know I would probably go maybe half but not more than a half. We don't want it to get too close to the um, nice, not nice surface of the of the worktop. So we just want basically maybe one centimeter minimum because that's how thick our bolts um, are so to be safe you can do it like um, maybe 1.5 15 mils that's good enough we don't need more than that right let's get on to it And that's the hold. That's the holes for the bolts, joining bolts of the worktop. And we need to do exactly the same on the other worktop. So we measure that distance, we apply it over there and do it exactly the same way. Right now we have both worktops um, put on together. Um, I'm gonna show you how they look like um, from really really close. Um, so the joint, obviously it's not tight yet, but once it's tight, there's not gonna be any gap between that joint. 
and it's not leveled as well so that that worktop is slightly higher so they need to be leveled to the perfect um, perfect level so they both exactly the same and then um, before we um, use actually the um, joining bolts to tighten it up two worktops together um, we need to use some sort of a, a sealant, a worktop joining sealant to make sure that if there's any water um, staying on that um, part of the worktop that water won't go in in between and expand the worktop causing obviously the damage. Um, I do recommend also this. This is an MDF quick drying clear sealant. It's like a milky water um, and I paint with this um, sealant every single open edge everywhere around. When I make a cut around the, um, obviously around the, um, um, around the sink, behind the sink, everywhere. Just one or one or two coats just to make sure that the worktop is really safe for a long term usage. Right, that's it from cutting the um, the worktop for now. But I'm gonna make another movie if you're interested to watch it. Um, this will be part two when I'm cutting um, the um, fitting the um, the gas hob and the sink. So if you want to watch that, please do. Right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers for now.